Hey everybody, Aaron and I are in beautiful San Antonio, Texas today. In fact, we're right here on the Riverwalk. And we decided to come down here for a little R&R &R and a chance to see the sights. Aaron had come here earlier this year for a conference and said, you know what, it's a great place. Let's go back and enjoy all the city has to offer. And so we've had a wonderful time. But a quick story, the very first night we were here, we were looking for a place to eat and we got confused and we realized we were going the wrong way. And about the time we realized that, a man came around the corner wearing a yellow t-shirt with a hat that had a C on it. He was wearing a name tag, his name said Roman. And he said, do you guys know where you're going? And we said, no, we're, we're a little bit lost. Could you help us? And we told him we wanted to go to this restaurant and he said, I know exactly where it is. And he escorted us to the restaurant. About a block and a half or two blocks, he walked with us and I noticed his shirt said Centro, C-E-N-T-R-O on it. So we began asking questions and realized that Roman was one of many ambassadors that the city of San Antonio had that worked the city all throughout the day. And there, every three, four, five blocks, there'll be a Centro ambassador there who is there to answer questions, give directions. Sometimes they'll hand you a map and show you where you need to go on the map. Uh, sometimes they are sweeping the streets and doing some cleanup. Uh, they assist with the homeless if uh, they call them displaced here. If the, uh, those who are displaced need to find a shelter, they try and help them find a shelter. And they even help with uh, when people have uh, a need because they feel unsafe and they help escort them where they need to go. So they truly are ambassadors for the city of San Antonio. And first Aaron and I thought Atlanta needs this or Boston or New York, all the big cities need this. This is a great idea. But what it really made me think of is 2 Corinthians 5.20, which says, we are therefore Christ's ambassadors as though God were making his appeal through us. And it reminded me that although we don't wear yellow t-shirts and hats with C's on them as Christians, I guess, I guess we could, we're supposed to live our lives as ambassadors for Christ. We're supposed to go out every single day and be just exactly like those people are out on, are out on the street and offer ourselves as a help and guides to people who are lost, who don't know their way. It might mean that they come to us and, and they talk to us because they know that we have a purpose and a, a plan in our life, that we're following Christ and they see that we live our lives differently. Maybe we offer prayer. Maybe we spend some time with counsel. Maybe we actually get out our map, the Bible, and, and give them one or show them scripture that will help them find their way. And that's part of what we're called to do as Christians. And the reality is, is that people should recognize who we are by how we live our lives. In other words, we don't wear a uniform, but if they see that we are living by a different standard, by a different moral code, that we're following Christ, then that should be something that they're attracted to. The scripture says that our lives should shine like stars in the sky in this very dark world. So hopefully people will come to us. Now, there are a whole lot more people in the city of San Antonio than there are ambassadors on the street. There are a whole lot more people out in the world who are not followers of Christ than are. So we really need to do our job and be ambassadors for Christ, just as the scripture says. Now, I have not always been a great ambassador for Jesus, and we've all messed up. And the good news is, is even though we're not perfect, we can go to him, we can ask for forgiveness, and we can certainly get our lives back on the right track and start over and get on the right path so we can represent him well because that's what we're called to do now if you're watching this video and you're not a believer in christ you can be an ambassador for kindness and make that your uh, purpose in life is to be kind you could be an ambassador for peace an ambassador for unity there's lots of ways you can be an ambassador and if you're already doing those things then you're a whole lot closer to following christ than maybe you even think Hopefully you'll turn your heart and your life to him because he is the true way, the true life, the true light of the world. So I hope as you go into your uh, next week and even into next year, you will think about this. I'm gonna try and keep this in the forefront of my thinking. We're all called to be ambassadors for Christ and point people to him because that's who it's all about, Jesus Christ. Keep walking with him. I'll do the same thing and I'll see you next week.